Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to give an explanation to a mechanic found in Gold Sphere pretty early on, which is called the Karma System. This system is shown to you pretty early on in the game, I, I just said that, but its specifics of it are a little iffy and not, very ex and not explained very well by the game. So this video hopefully remedies the poor explanation of it so I can show you more in-depth in -depth, like examples and details about it so you don't you know what to do before you make a decision in the game. In this video, I wanted to explain karma in three parts. One, uh, I wanted to show what karma is and how it affects your playthrough. Two, I wanted to show an example of good karma. Three, I wanted to show an example of bad karma and what it looks like. And four, actions which look like bad karma but really aren't. So I'll explain these uh, four different parts separately. So let's get on with the video. Let's explain topic number one, what karma is and how it affects your gameplay. Early on in the game, you may encounter a laptop which explains the system in some detail. I have a screenshot of it here. Before I begin, as said previously at the beginning of the video, luck and karma mean the same thing. The game just refers to them as separate things from time to time. Just remember, they, mean the, they refer to the same mechanic in the same system, or the same thing. Looking at the laptop, you can see what the game has to, has to say about what karma affects. I'm unable to verify how much of what's said in the laptop is true, but I know for a fact point 0.1 and point 0.2 on, are on the laptop are for a fact. I've seen them affect gameplay in that regard. And I've also heard from a translator working on this game say, uh, say karma may affect dialogue options for certain NPCs, though I'm unable to verify whether this is true or not. I don't really have any I don't really have much more to say about the system in regards to this. Just be safe just just to be safe and have the best experience possible with this game. Don't be a crummy stalker. Try to be a good-natured person and the game will treat you just fine. Just fine. Excuse me. With the explanation done with this, let's show some examples of what good and bad karma is so you know how to spot it. Let's let's begin. So I'm in game right here ready to show off an example of good karma. And to know whether an action you do in this game results in good or bad karma, you have to have a certain item called the doll. I have a separate video showing how to get this item right here, but you should already have it. It's pretty hard to miss. So once you have the item, you're able to see whether an action you do results in good or bad karma. I'll, um, I'll test it out on Outcast right here, which, re which results in good karma. So I'm going to blur some of the dialogue here because it's slight spoilers. And you can see in a second of what the good karma is. Um, there we go. And showing it in three, two, one. <laughs> You'll hear a laughing sound effect made by the doll, including a little uh, a doll PNG appeared in the bottom left hand of the corner. And whether when you hear that laughing noise, that means you an action you did results in good karma, and your karma goes up. So yeah, if the doll laughs, just just know that an action you did results in good karma. So that's pretty cool. Let's show an example of bad karma though. One of the earliest examples of bad karma can be found with digging up graves. If you don't know what the grave uh, grave robbing mechanic in this game is, you'll encounter it later. In the, you'll, you're, you'll you'll likely encounter it later on. Just forget about it. I'm just I'm just doing it to demonstrate the bad karma mechanic in this game. So let's go uh, rob a grave. Want to go up to the grave? Use the spade. Мне сдаются, что все идет только хуже и хуже. And you can hear the doll made a sound effect that wasn't laughing this time, and the same doll PNG appeared in the bottom left side of the bottom left side of the corner, um, just as with the good karma. But the difference is that she wasn't laughing this time and was instead talking and uh, bashing you for making a bad decision, uh, and this results in bad karma. And as a result, your karma level will decrease. So uh, don't go robbing graves unless you want to, um, yeah, unless you want to decrease your karma. But you may find some pretty good loot out of them. So that's an example of bad karma. There are a plethora of actions which I mistakenly attributed to bad karma in this game, which uh, aren't actually bad karma. So um, I'll show off uh, one. I, th I thought I thought one action I thought was bad karma in this game, which is uh, the mechanic of shooting down backpacks. So in the map outskirts right here, um, you're, this will probably be the uh, this will probably be your first introduction to the mechanic of shooting down backpacks and trees. If you have the doll item right here, uh, the doll will point out back um, the locations of backpacks on the tree as you pass by them. You can see by this little emblem right here, backpack on the tree. And I'm at one of these trees right here, and you can see at the top there's a backpack right there. 
And if you shoot it down with like a pistol or something, it falls down onto the ground and you're able to pick up whatever's located inside. And so I'll take the contents for this backpack, for example. Mila. You'll see that the doll made a little sound effect. I thought for I thought originally that that sound effect meant like bad karma because you're technically taking someone else's stash. But I've tested and this does not result in a karma loss. So whenever you see these backpacks on a tree, just shoot them down and take whatever's inside. You'll get some pretty cool items out of it, I, I, I hope. Because I haven't... <laughs> I hope. So that's one action I thought was bad karma. I'll show another one. Another action which I mistakenly attributed to a karma loss was the um, was the mechan was the action of killing NPCs with certain weapons. So as you collect more and more weapons in OGS in um, Gold Sphere, you may realize that killing NPCs with certain weapons uh, plays a dull sound effect once you kill um, once you kill someone with it, whilst killing it, well, whilst killing NPCs with other weapons though doesn't play a dull sound effect. Now, I just wanted to share that if you hear one of these dull sound effects once you kill someone, just forget about it. It doesn't decrease your karma level in the slightest. So I'm going to show an example of it but, uh, when I kill a random ecologist NPC with a shotgun at close range, which is one um, which is one action which plays the dull sound effect. So let's show an example right here. I'm going to slaughter this uh, these ecologists right here with a shotgun at close range. You'll realize that the doll made a sound effect once I killed him, and the doll the doll PNG showed up in the bottom left uh, bottom left side of the corner of the screen. And I mistakenly thought this was a decrease in your a, de a decrease in karma, but um, I've tried multiple times with multiple with dozens. I've I've tried killing dozens of NPCs um, with uh, shooting them at closer range with a shotgun and using other weapons, which made this doll sound effect, and not one of them decreased my karma in the slightest. Um, so I'm not sure, I'm not really sure whether on, uh, I'm not really sure about that system. I think that doll sound effect has to do something with an achievement system in this game, but I, I, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not going to explain of that any further. So just to summarize, if you kill an NPC with a weapon and it makes a doll sound effect, just forget about it. It doesn't decrease your karma. Just, just keep slaughtering NPCs and you'll be fine, really. That's all I re that's all I really wanted to show of things that you may mistake for bad karma. So I guess that's the end of this video. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. See ya.